What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Down South Expeditions. We got another adventure coming at you guys. We are going to the Dahlonega, Georgia. There we go. I didn't want to butcher the name too bad there. We're going to be doing a little expedition from here and hitting some of the Georgia Traverse Trail back towards the Lake Jocassee slash uh, Kiwi area. About a hundred or so mile adventure. We're going to try to do this in a little under one day so we're gonna do some night wheeling as you can tell it is uh getting dark on us pretty quick it's 5 48 work school all that kind of stuff kind of give us a late start to this adventure but nonetheless we're gonna make the best of it and try to make a good video get some good content for you guys i appreciate all the support on the channel up to 200 subscribers now in less than a month so that's absolutely awesome so stay tuned guys let's get it rolling So we've stopped up here at this BP and uh, almost outside of Dahlonega, Georgia. We're almost there, about 15 or 20 minutes from our destination, which is the start of you know the Forest Service roads and all that good stuff. Gas prices in Dahlonega astronomical. I'm used to paying you know about 250 for a premium in Anderson County, and now uh, premium up here is like three and a half dollars, three dollars or so. So. I don't know what they got going on here, guys, but it doesn't look good. Alright, guys, so we have made it to the beginning of our adventure. We are right here on Nimble Wheel Church Road in Dahlonega. Or I guess this would be Nimble Wheel. I'm not sure. Anyways, we are on our way. It is completely dark now. Got to use these really nice light bars that, you know, normally just use for pictures. But now we're going to use them for real. So we're going to get down here and get aired down and tear it up. Alright guys, so right here we're just making our way. We're making pretty good pace. Um, do you want to make a disclaimer? Disclaimer. Even though we are kind of going fast on these washboard roads, we are not... Um, doing any damage to these i'm not hammering on the brakes i'm not doing any drifting or burnouts or anything like that so i mean as you can tell these roads are basically like a just just a good old washboard road there's not much here do have to watch out for some of these rocks sticking up every once in a while they can be uh you know if you hit those 20 or 30 miles an hour you could definitely get a puncture right now we're aired down to about 25 psi nothing crazy low because uh, like you guys know i don't have true bead locks so at this higher pace turning and stuff like that that's gonna be a good one right there i didn't really want to uh go too low and risk losing the bead on the trail so that's kind of what we're doing right now we're just making our way up towards the mountain we're gonna try to find a spot higher up before we find a camp and then you know get food and all that kind of stuff set up so just plowing along the eye box are doing great i've been here one time before back when i was on the stock suspension with just a rough country leveling kit and i can tell you guys the difference in the ride is insane the amount of like the dampening that the eye box are able to give is ridiculous compared to stock like before we were getting absolutely just hammered on these washboard roads five miles an hour was about the max and i mean we are just i mean we're just plowing it right now we're doing like nine miles an hour right now not nothing crazy don't want to take a puncture like i said but nonetheless makes the trip much more enjoyable not getting thrown around all over the place and uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep making our way up here and we're gonna get the camp rolling in just a little bit. Right now, guys, I wish you could smell it. We are right here at the fish hatchery. This is the, what's this place called? Chattahoochee Forest National Fish Hatchery. So if you guys do follow our path, make sure you check out the fish hatchery. Obviously it's dark right now, it's about, it is, 808 at night super awesome down here you can check out in the daylight you'll be able to see all the fish and stuff in the hatchery uh, i've been here before one time back when the uh, ranger gs5 group come down here had an awesome day 30 40 rangers and such all of us got together down here at the fish hatchery but so we're still hammering it 
We're gonna get down here and try to find some campsite. It's about 30 degrees right now. I wasn't expecting it to get this cold, but uh, you know, glad we overpacked. So we're gonna keep hammering it and keep on the trail. The truck's looking nice. So after some uh, questioning of my mapping and such, I did have the Georgia Traverse, all that stuff, the GPX, the waypoints, routes, everything already downloaded. And I'm sure glad I did because we have found this awesome camp spot here. Um, it can't be much better than this. There is a fire pit here, so don't have to worry about that. Somebody actually was generous enough to leave some firewood behind. Now, obviously, we brought our own because I don't, I don't guess work with fire work with firewood. But anyways, we're gonna get the camp set up. Perfect spot up behind us, and um, get some food rolling because it is now about 9:30, and we are starving. So. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, show you the food, all that good stuff, and most importantly, sleeping, because I'm exhausted. <sighs> 28 degrees out here now. Ribeye steak and cheese like hoagies sandwiches philly something cheese philly cheese steak type deal for being as hungry as we were probably wasn't the best thing i've ever made in my life but nevertheless it was edible and it was good so we got the fire finally going over there can't really see parker but he's over there um got the tent set up all that good stuff i'm ready to get into bed i'm exhausted long day tomorrow can't wait to share it with you guys we'll catch up with you in the morning Good morning, everybody. It is 8.15 a.m. And besides the massive pack of coyotes that ran through last night at about 2 o'clock in the morning, waking, waking both of us up, and that about stopped our sleep for a little while just because it was just scary hearing them out there. Man, this hair is looking really nice. But we're gonna try to get the fire going back here in a second, get the food, starting up get the tent taken down you know that ground tent life's gonna take me about 10 minutes to get this thing packed up gotta love that we're gonna hit the trails we got a long day in front of us a lot of ground to cover nothing wrong with that though we're gonna eat it up maybe we'll maybe we'll see some creeks maybe we'll see some real off-roading here eventually i'm not really sure what the day's gonna hold but hey we're just gonna do whatever and make our way back towards honey a path so stay tuned guys we're gonna get everything cleaned up catch back up with you on the trail got some sausage egg and bagel and cheese bagels coming up so we've been driving for about 45 minutes since we left the camp and have encountered not one but two road closures not what you want to see when you're trying to drive on these roads so now we're about a good ways out of way and we're just gonna try to get we're gonna have to do some just some mapping and stuff and just try to figure it out we might have to go through a little town to get back on some dirt roads and washboards and all that kind of stuff but we'll keep you guys updated i'm not really sure what's quite going to happen but we'll try to figure it out all right everybody so we have finally made it back on gravel roads as you can see and we have made it to Hilton Creek Falls. You can see the sign right there behind us. Check out these two Jeeps right here. Pretty sweet. Got a JL and a, I'm not sure what the other kind is, but JK. Smitty G, if you're watching this, sub to the channel, man. Nice Jeeps, guys. Ranger finally got some mud on it after some detours and such this morning. Nonetheless, having a great time. We can get out here and get some footage of this waterfall for you guys and keep trucking it. Well, Parker's now changing out his socks because, uh, the bean boots did not hold up to the water. No. They didn't hold up. Not one bit. Now on the hand, quick plug to the Keens here. You guys can check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right in the water. 
no problem. No problems at all. So we're gonna keep hitting the trails. We got some recovery out here, guys. <laughs> Forerunner in a little bit deep. <laughs> Is it on? No, I can't find the hook. If we need to, I got some chains. I can always pull them out from that way. Yeah. These guys in the Forerunner have gotten pretty, pretty stuck. I'm gonna pull up a little bit, get some, you know, that off-road recovery action. See if I can't pull these guys out. <laughs> This big old break. And for the ending of this overland expedition, we, uh, Easton ends in with a celebratory <laughs> good piss the end of the weekend. Well, guys, that's going to conclude our trip there. We just ate at uh, Zex. Zex. And it was pretty good. Man, check out that F-150 out there. Pretty sweet. Anyways, we are all finished up. That was a, uh, a trip. I hope I can turn that into a good edit for you guys. It was a lot of uh, just monstrosity of me getting stuck in the mud. Those guys that we ran into getting stuck in the mud. And uh, for about a good hour and a half over there, I would pull him out. I would get stuck. He would pull me out. He would get stuck again. So, if you see mud and you're not on 40s, I might would just stay out of it. Um, especially if you're on a three and a half inch lifted, you know, quarter ton truck. But that's not the point. Anyways, I'm glad you guys liked this video. Maybe you didn't like the video, but you should still like it anyways. Make sure you sub to the channel. Um... We had a blast, and we'll be hitting the entire Georgia Traverse Trail coming up here probably in March slash April time. So thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. Easton here with Down South Expeditions and our cameraman for this weekend adventure. Daddy. That would be my cousin Parker. He's obviously mentally uh, impaired. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time to Down South Expeditions. Yeah. Are you burning rubber? <laughs>